Welcome back to the channel, guys. And as you can see right here, the star of the show is here. No more need to fear. If we have what we've been on track to get for the last six months, we've been working hard and saving our money, and we finally did it. So today on the channel, we're going to introduce the first part of a long series of installing the 12k pv this is a solar inverter which gives you 12,000 watts of input panel up to 8,000 watts of output and we're also going to take a look at the batteries that we have instead of the eg4 we want the eco worthy batteries and online there's a lot of things that people say about the eco worthy batteries i'm definitely going to put these to the test I, the reason why I went with these was because I watch a lot of DIY with Will, Will Prowse. I'm on his solar forms as Rhinox Energy as well. And the people over there are just super helpful. They always answer the questions. They always give you the, the most efficient feedback as possible. And I'm super impressed by just the little time I've interacted with everybody over there. They've been phenomenal. So I went with the Eagle Worthy server ride batteries. Uh, I got two of them. So it's going to give me 10 kilowatt hours worth to start. Um, I, I only had to meet the 200 amp hour battery requirement to actually get started with the 12K PV. So I think with these two batteries, we, we got over that threshold. So I also went with the bus bars here. These are from Signature Solar as well. Switch these on the wrong side. So we're actually going to be mounting these to the top of the Ego Worthy six six battery rack that we also we got that as well. Now the only difference between this and the EG4 model, it doesn't come with bus bars. Now the EG4 model comes with bus bars, which are rated for 600 amps, which these are as well. Now these are eighty dollars from Signature Solar. With the actual EG4 server rack, it's about $550. So when you couple this, this is $249. This is $80. So you're right around that $330 range. Add some wires. You're saving about $200 by going with the Eco Worthy. Now they're the same server setup, 3U rack setup, and yeah, I'm just super excited. As you can see, I've already put the dunk on here. I skipped the portion where I'm actually hanging this on the wall. This is super heavy. This is 110 pounds of an uh, inverter. It's on the wall. As you can see here, took the precaution and got the backer board. I installed that myself as well. Now, this whole entire install, I'm not going to do 100% myself. Now, in this portion I am going to do, we're going to take you through installing the bus bars itself. I have solar ran in here as well. And I just want to kind of show you guys, this is where I started. This is the original, this is the original solar system that got me so infatuated with solar. Just to kind of give a, just to kind of give a, to kind of show you where it all started. I started with a Renogy Wanderer amp controller. As you can see, it's just a, a Krieger 1100 watt inverter. I have a, was this a 200 amp hour 12 volt battery that I've been using just to, just to charge different things here. My daughter has a scooter, electric scooter that I'm charging here. You obviously can see the Bluetooth module here as well. I've unplugged it, but it does work. Um, but it's it's connected to 500 watts worth of solar panels right now. Outside that um, I currently have um, outside of my backyard. So this this whole system, this is going to be a journey, guys. Um, and I have no shame about that. Money doesn't grow on trees, and these things are really expensive. But from this setup, from day one, I'll be able to start charging my car, charging the Jeep, as you've seen in, in different videos up till now. 
I'll be able to charge the Jeep from zero to a hundred percent each day, saving me about two, three dollars, depending on how many times I do it per day. But it'll start to save me money immediately. The next goal is to definitely get an automatic transfer switch and suss that out to the main panel. That's definitely the next goal. Um, how quickly we get there is yet to be undetermined. But looking at the uh, looking at the inverter itself, super clean. It's everything that it as advertised. Got breakers here. You got your load breaker generator, which also doubles as a smart load connection here. Which that's probably what I'm going to use it for. I'm probably going to use this for my EV. And you got a battery connection, battery breaker. These are all things you can kind of look up online. I don't want to. I don't want to bore you guys with that. You've probably seen it a hundred times, but but yeah. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this wired up and set up for you guys and kind of bring you along on a journey. That as constructed right now, we're gonna install these things, run it out the five hundred watt solar panels that we got in the backyard. Once we get this system up and running. And it's, it's running pretty good. We're going to add solar panels. We're going to add 10 550 watt solar panels. That'll give me 6,000 watts. Uh, and then we're going to add more batteries. And then after we get up to about 20 kilowatt hours, and then I think I'm going to install the automatic transfer switch. And then we'll really start to start, start to see money savings coming in. So I was going to take you through the journey with me, guys. Thank you guys for, for staying along here. Uh, we got a lot of videos to make on this stuff, and I'm super excited, if you can't tell. Um, so, yeah, let's get started right now. We're going to start make we're going to start mounting these bus bars to the top here. So I'm going to put a piece of plywood underneath these two just to just to isolate the bus bars. And yeah, let's get started on doing that. We got everything running into the inverter as we can see here i'm not super confident on how i had this set up so what i'm going to do is take pictures and submit this information to the diy solar forum and facebook facebook groups i'm a part of um those guys have been super helpful i can't really say enough how they've helped during the process here got ferro connections in here I got everything off. I only have this connected, uh, which is the battery communication wire. Um, so yeah, so the next step is to get kind of the approval from, from the Facebook group, or uh, not Facebook, but the Diablo Solar Forum. That way I can actually feel confident to turn the system on. So this is what we have so far. Hopefully this is sufficient. If not, the same thing about these, I have more of these. I have the actual lugs, cable lugs coming tomorrow. So I can switch those out super easy, put shrink wrap on them and do it the proper way pretty much. But we'll see what they say. <laughs> 